This video is closed captioned. If you've ever considered picking up and moving out of the country, join the club. Getting a fresh start somewhere new holds a great deal of appeal, but before making a huge move, it's essential to make sure that the grass is in fact greener on the other side. Moving without understanding the local job market, living costs, and other unique financial considerations is a recipe for disaster. Join us as we look at 12 countries where high earning potentials make them coveted countries for relocation. Number 12, Brazil. Brazil has a low median wage for hourly workers in service industries, but there are opportunities in several fields to make a healthy income and live comfortably. The highest paid careers are within the healthcare and medical field and management and business positions. Average annual salaries from these industries are around 151,098 Brazilian real. While this totals less than 30,000 US dollars, it's plenty. Considering an apartment is expensive, cities like Rio de Janeiro will run under 2,000 Brazilian real per month, around 420 US dollars. Number 11, New Zealand. New Zealand tops many lists of beautiful places to visit, but it is also possible to make a comfortable living as a transplant. As of 2022, the minimum wage is around 20 New Zealand dollars per hour, or $13.41, but higher paying industries offer significantly more. In-demand jobs include accountants, healthcare professionals, building and contract managers, IT managers, and engineers. These positions can bring in annual salaries in excess of 100,000 New Zealand dollars per year. That is around 65,000 US dollars. Living and working in New Zealand is often prized for the gorgeous scenery and laid back lifestyle. Work life balance is no problem here. With an average of four weeks of annual vacation and 11 paid holidays, you'll have plenty of time and disposable income to enjoy everything this island offers. Number 10, Sweden. Like many European countries, the Swedish job market holds fierce competition. Any country that offers impressive salaries and high quality of life will see higher levels of competition. Sweden prides itself on gender and class equality in society and the workforce and is a work culture that frowns upon regular overtime. In-demand industries include pharmacology, teaching, engineering, software developers, and healthcare professionals. Salaries tend to be a bit higher than in other European countries due to the high cost of living, but a family of four can still live comfortably at about 2,400 US dollars per month. Teachers, nurses, engineers, and other in-demand positions can expect to make more than 3,000 US dollars per month, making it surprisingly reasonable to live here if you land the right job. Number nine, Canada. Canada has become a favorite destination for immigration in recent years. There's a lot to be attracted to, robust medical benefits, high standards of living, and solid employment opportunities. Canadian employers, like many places, are facing skill shortages. Some of the fastest growing industries are information technology. In 2018, Canada's tech sector created more jobs than the San Francisco Bay Area, Seattle, and Washington, D.C. combined. With uncertain political turmoil bubbling up in the United States, Canada quickly becomes more attractive to new graduates. Other in-demand careers include data scientists, web, software, and mobile developers, engineers, and project managers. Work culture tends to be a bit more relaxed in Canada. They focus on team efforts rather than individual accomplishments, which might be an adjustment depending on the workforce you're transitioning from. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. Number eight, Germany. The German economy is thriving, which always adds a lure to those thinking about relocation. German salaries are among the highest in the European Union. Furthermore, average annual gross salaries come in higher than the amount generally considered to have a comfortable living in the country. Most Germans are in the stable middle class, so general societal equity exists. Furthermore, a healthy welfare system ensures that citizens get what they need, even when experiencing a rough patch. Free health care and education are icing on the cake. The highest earning professions belong to medical professionals, lawyers, engineers, IT professionals, and those in the finance arena. Number 7. Australia 
One of the unique requirements in Australia is that certain visas have minimum salary requirements. So making sure you understand the fine print of the rules under which you can work and live in Australia is critical. As of 2022, the national average salary in Australia is 90,000 Australian dollars per year, around 65,000 US dollars. More metropolitan centers like Sydney and Melbourne will see slightly higher wages to account for higher living costs. Typical work weeks at 38 hours, and women earn less on average. The industry that has seen the most earnings growth in recent years is construction. Other well-paid industries include computer experts, finance, Finance, insurance, and scientific and technical services. Even public servants tend to earn more than the national average. Number six, India. India, particularly Mumbai, dole out hefty salaries for skilled expats. Mumbai is India's commercial, entertainment, and financial capital, and earnings can be more than 200,000 US dollars. Many of the expats in India find themselves there through current jobs. Attractive relocation packages from companies in India contribute to the high percentage of expats sent by their employers. What's unique about India is that the country ranks lower in job opportunities than destinations in the UK and US. So your best bet is to secure a job with an international company in your country of origin and then work on a transfer from there. Number five, United States. It isn't everywhere in the United States that expats can find a lucrative career. The San Francisco Bay Area usually tops the list, with New York City close behind. In San Francisco and the surrounding area, foreign workers take home more than 200,000 US dollars on average. That doesn't mean it's easy to live comfortably, though. In 2018, it was estimated that 10% of San Franciscans were in poverty. Given rising housing costs, inflation, and wages that have not been increased in tandem with those costs, that number continues to worsen each year. In 2021, more than 600,000 households in the Bay Area didn't earn enough income to cover food, housing, medical, and child care. The cost of living for a family of four well exceeds $100,000 per year, meaning the high wages don't necessarily cover a comfortable living. Number four, Indonesia. With a bustling population of 270 million, Indonesia is one of the Asian countries that pay handsomely for skilled workers to live and thrive in their country. The capital, Jakarta, is a modern city and densely populated. But despite the financial power that Jakarta commands in Southeast Asia, it's still an overall developing country. Only 40% of the population lives above the poverty line, and even then, just barely. So while it's possible to live a comfortable life in Indonesia, be prepared for a land of dichotomy. The country is riddled with political strife and political attacks on institutions and Westerners happen. Unlike San Francisco, earning a decent salary will stretch quite a bit as Jakarta is one of the cheapest major cities globally. Number three, Hong Kong. Hong Kong is home to a significant world market steeped in a long and colorful history. Hong Kong has a lot of people, about 7.5 million of them, according to 2020 estimates. Like any city, crime occur, but crime levels are low and decrease yearly. Hong Kong is technically part of a communist country, but operates under its own unique capitalist model. The dichotomy has led to political tension and will expire in 2047. Many billionaires call the region home, as you'll find plenty of luxury shopping and world-class restaurants. Although job opportunities are usually easy to locate, competition can be tight. It's best to have a contract in place before moving, as you might be searching for a while if you transplant first. Number two, United Arab Emirates. The United Arab Emirates, UAE for short, hires most of its workforce from overseas. Therefore, it's common to see expats working in all fields ranging from healthcare, education, and support staff for industries like travel, hospitality, and tourism. The business landscape attracts many companies to set up shop in the UAE. The trade-off lacks regulation in areas like pay and employee rights. There is no minimum wage, and the government relies on supply and demand 
to keep the labor market in check. While understanding a fair wage can be challenging, it can also allow more negotiation of salary packages. The culture here can be shocking for those, and while women's rights have improved in recent years, discrimination against women and wage gaps still exist. Flogging is still used as a punishment under Sharia law. Lucrative salaries are one way to continue enticing Westerners to move to the UAE and hopefully continue to speed up essential measures for equality. Number 1. Switzerland Switzerland generally tops most lists regarding high salaries, quality of life, and general desirability. According to a 2018 study, average expats in Switzerland bring home an excess of 200,000 US dollars per year. But like a few places on our list, I'm looking at you, San Francisco, the cost of living is a severe impediment to living in Switzerland. So be prepared to part with a decent chunk of your hard-earned wages. Overall, it's still an attractive place. HSBC conducted a study and found that 69% of expats described their work-life balance as improved in Switzerland, and 60% said the work culture was better in their country of origin. The highest compensated careers include doctors, lawyers, IT professionals, engineers, and senior leadership positions. And keep in mind that, as in several countries, social funds and a variety of taxes are assessed on income, so your base salary is not your take-home pay. We hope you enjoyed our list today. Let us know in the comments below. Well, that is all for today's video. What's your dream job and what country do you wish you could do your job from? Let us know down in the comments. We hope you enjoyed today's list. Do leave us a comment or a like. If you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing and before you start packing for your trip, consider looking at some of my other videos from other amazing travel destinations. Happy traveling and stay safe. Until next time.